What is up, everyone? This is your boy, Mr. Product Reviews. And as promised, um, today I will, instead of doing a review, I'm actually going to give you some quick um, hint on, um, you know, the, the, you probably saw my review earlier on Hawk uh, Freedom, uh, Freedom Squadron. And so today I'm just gonna like give you guys some strategy, additional strategy and hints uh, on like, you know, what is the best way to farm or grind uh, money um, in the game. And you know, there might be other stages that might be better, but so far, um, you know, in terms of uh, what I think my opinion is, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, this particular stage will be kind of like the best stage to grind for money and also have the highest probability of you surviving it, right? I mean, that's the whole point is you, uh, there, there are times you will, you will get chests and whatnot during the stage, but if you don't complete the level, you don't get the chest. Uh, so, you know, there are things like that. So therefore, I think this particular stage would be best to farm and grind money. Uh, I mean, as long as you could, you know, unlock that stage. I mean, you, you probably uh, won't be able to get there uh, early on, but once you unlock that stage, you should be good to go. Um, so, um, just some quick setup. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of like show you, like I'm, I'm gonna do two run of the same stage that I would recommend. And the first run, I'm gonna run it with a, uh, a basically a plane uh, that doesn't have any type of like bonuses that you can add on. I think they, they used to call it coin and I think they updated that stat to luck. Um, basically, supposedly it's the same thing, but um, you know, the game developer of Hawk has been somewhat nebulous as to kind of like what luck means. So like when they say luck 10%, is it increase your, you know, your, your coins up, 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 you know, up by 10% or is it a range between zero and 10? So uh, I don't know what the answer to that, but you know, uh, no further ado, let me just do a quick run on this particular stage with no bonuses to luck. And then we will, um, you know, do another run with what I think are the best plane to to uh, to, to do that stage again. Um, and before I start too, I just wanted uh, people to to know that um, I am a VIP five uh, status in the game. So what that means is um, I get a hundred percent more credits uh, for collecting coins. Uh, so whatever number you see on this first run, you might want to knock it down by you know, just take half of that off, right? Because then that's probably a truer uh, value that, that you know, in terms of what you'll be getting, unless you're at VIP five or higher, then like, then this doesn't matter. But like for the people who are, you know, playing this and not spending a lot of money on it. So just be aware of this, uh, that I am a VIP five, so I do get 100% more on, on coins. Uh, so like I said, no further ado, uh, I think the best stage to farm, um, uh, coins on this game and has the highest probability of survival is um, stage uh, drum roll um, <laughs> um, 123 uh, very easy to remember one two three stage one two three uh, or one, 123 I think this is the best stage to grind for coins and my recommendation to you too again you know so that you have the highest probability of surviving the stage I mean it's a pretty simple stage to begin with but you know, if you're like low level, you might not have the DPS to destroy certain units or whatnot. So therefore, I would recommend that um, that you play easy. It doesn't matter if you play easy, normal, or heroic. Uh, the uh, the not the uh, it's definitely rewards at the top, right? But like in terms of just reward for uh, coins and robot experience, uh, it doesn't matter w whether it is easy, normal, or heroic. They give you about the same amount. So you know. Uh, if you so like if you don't want to like wait for the lag for you know a player to join you can always do solo if you have the DPS to do so so for example me I do uh, so I'm just going to um, uh, you know use this setup real quick um, oh actually before I go to this um, let, let me just kind of give you some more um, uh, uh, um, tips also so if you have any type of equipment that has like attraction bonuses like for example this one over here as a traction of plus 50 percent so there are things that like you probably want to equip on your plane too so that you could get those coins easier so that you're not missing you know the coins that are falling off from from the enemy so again i have a uh, two of these weapon here chain reaction scope that also has plus 50 percent 
uh, attraction range so that should help you in terms of getting coins I mean you don't really need it if you don't have it but like it's just nice to have if you do you just, you just ha happen to have them uh, so those kind of like the things that like you might want to like you know use so again I'm just gonna do solo easy just to kind of like give you a, a quick rundown of like how much money you will be making and also I think this stage is also very good for to get a robot experience as well to grind robot experience because um, again, this stage is relatively easy, has a high, very high probability of you surviving. I just hope the game developers uh, they, they, they isn't watching this video because I'm so scared that like they would make an update and pretty much like render this stage obsolete. But uh, let's get started. So I'm just gonna do a solo run um, with no bonuses except for my VIP status as I mentioned. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a quick run and I'll try to get as much money as I can um, to do a fair comparison. Uh, uh, what it would be like, um, you know, so I'm just kind of like destroying enemies and uh, you know for the people who are watching this for, for gameplay um, this is a uh, rather late stage gameplay um, so I think you know just to kind of give you a feel of how it would be like if you uh, play this game at a later stage um, so um, yeah uh, so like this plane I have is, uh, is, is at 240 uh, I'm sorry, level 240, which is the max level at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, you know, destroying stuff. Hope this is not too boring to you guys. Um, you know, just kind of destroying stuff. I think this stage probably lasts for like a minute or two. Maybe three. I never time myself. Um, I do like this stage quite a bit because like it's just just lots of enemy, very easy to, to destroy, lots of cool item, lots of just you know item drop. You see like there's just tons of tons of coins that just get dropped off. Like um, you know, just lots of coins being dropped off, and then lots of like bombs that would that helps you because they help destroy the enemy on the other end fairly quickly. Um, so uh, yeah, so this is you know the stage. That's it, right? Pretty pretty simple. Not there's really no like you know crazy amount of enemy. I think there was that one big helicopter you saw in the beginning. That's pretty much it. So this is uh, 2,200 coins. So like I like I said, I'm at, I'm at VIP five, uh, which is 100% more on coins that I take. So like if you just chop this by half, um, you're looking at about 1,100 coins when you complete the stage and 16,000 robot experience and not too shabby right you know just to grind this level that lasts for maybe two minutes you know so like I, I like, like I mentioned I think um, stage 123 is the best stage to grind for coins and robot experience uh, if you just needed to level up that robot uh, or, or or that plane and you don't really want to spend the money on crystals to do so um, I, I like in my previous video I definitely talked about like you know use crystals only on the things that you absolutely need to right like, like for example leveling up your plane uh, unless unless we're talking about inc involving your rank if you're just leveling leveling up your plane they give you an option to upgrade crystals I would say don't you know use that to evolve your plane instead because evolving you need crystal to do so you can't do it do it with any other currency so anyway uh, went on a tangent there so now let me just kind of like you know uh, switch the plane, um, you know like in 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 this and so this is kind of like the f the first one that we just did is sort of like a poor man strategy, if you don't really want to spend the money uh, on it. But if you have a little bit of money to spend, right? Um, what I would recommend is I would recommend that you buy the uh, Sparrow custom skin. Um, so like so basically what that does is like gives you this. It basically gives you. Uh, ten percent uh, more bro by experience uh, and bro points, and also fifty percent credits for collecting coins. So like, so like I I, I believe that these uh, these stats they stack up to. So then like um so I think it's worth it. So for for I think Sparrow's custom skin is the cheapest from from all the other ones. Like um like if you want like the custom skin for uh, Gambit for example, it's like fifteen dollars. Uh, for Sparrow, I believe is only five. Um, and uh, and the reason why I purchased the Sparrow skin too um, was um, well be because it's the cheapest and um, and I use him for um, 
for contests. Um, but this, but you don't really need this skin for contests. Uh, but like you know, I, I purchased this skin for him because it was the cheapest. Like I, I'm I, I'm just not sure I wanted to spend a custom skin for fifteen dollars. Uh, so so therefore anyway, uh, I use I use Sparrow um, uh, for for it, and also Sparrow also uh, if you if you're high enough rank, you can you also get um, plus eighteen percent more on coins as well. So you're eight plus eighteen percent plus another fifty. So you're looking at about 68%, I believe, if I, if I did my math right, uh, more coins when you use this plane uh, with the custom skin. Uh, and of course, you know, I need to make sure that the armor is always at 100% for this, this plane because uh, this plane is designed to, you know, for, to encourage player for that perfect play, if you will, to get to have all these bonuses. Uh, so use, uh, so like I would recommend if you want to uh, maximize stage one, 123 as to how much um, coins you'll get is equip your uh the plane to sparrow make sure that uh you know you have you, you unlock the uh, not a scratch attribute for your sparrow uh and again uh if you have any equipment wise that can like increase your luck you know or um or like increase your attraction rate uh that would help you get the coins too on the stage um so that's kind of what i have oh actually i need to equip it so let's uh let's equip the plane and in terms of robots um go i i went with uh dodgy i think that's how you pronounce it uh so i have him at a, a level 170 uh so basically i is increased luck of 30 percent and because i haven't unfortunately i haven't maxed out um, all my robots yet. So the next one I'm gonna use is this one over here, uh, Undyne. Um, but I, there are other ones that you can use. But for for me, um, you know, I have him at luck, but you know, by ten percent. Um, I don't. I haven't maxed out my robot, but like you know, you could f try to find. I mean, there are a couple other robots too that are good for to increase luck, so that would give you more money too. But basically, the uh, the strategy is get robots that can increase your luck. You know the highest luck that you can right uh, so in this case for me it's dodgy and undying uh, there are other ones that will probably give you higher but in my in, in my case this is the highest that I can sort of like max out given that I haven't involved all the robots yet uh, so I have these two these two robots plus the sparrow and we're just going to do the same run of that of that stage again and we'll compare so remember uh, I think um, the first time we did it without any bonuses was 2200 uh, coins so uh, and that was with my VIP 5 bonus as well uh, so let's do this again uh, with the with the planes that we just talked about and let's just do a quick run all right so just going through destroying stuff trying to grab everything I can I just love this stage. There are just like so many uh, atom bombs that I can like that you can use. Like, look, wow, I got two boxes already. Check that out. So, like, yeah, and also because there's so many boxes in this in this stage too, um, you uh, so many crates that you could blow up. Uh, there's a, a very high chance of you getting like crates too. So like, and and you definitely definitely want to survive those stages just to see just to see kind of like what you unlock, right? You know. Um, like I said, this level is fairly easy. Like, there's really not a lot of like tough, tough monster, uh, tough monster, uh, tough planes, uh, you know, and whatnot. Um, so like, yeah. Oops. See, make sure I get everything. All right. Let me just use that. So my armor is still at a hundred. So we're still getting that those bon those nice bonuses from this plane. That is the you know coin plus eighteen percent, right? So. Yeah, the stage is almost over. Bear with me, guys. All right, I think this is it. Let me just get all that with the planes. Oh, we're getting really, really close. Really close. All right, so the stage is done. And as you can see, uh, 4,000 um, and 18,000 bro points. And I got two items. So like, for example, I don't need those two items. And I think those items, if I sell them, you, you could do black box as well. 
but if I sell them, I think they're they're three hundred a piece, right? So uh, it would have been forty six hundred coins uh, for for this quick stage run. Uh, so not too shabby, right? Um, and um, and sorry, my computer just turned off. But um, yeah, not too shabby. Eighteen thousand bro points. Um, so I think they to compare that, right? It, we were at like what twenty two hundred, in in the first run, and now we're at four thousand. And I think bro points was like twelve thousand in the previous one, and we're looking at eighteen thousand. So so there you go, right? It's like if, you, if you're gonna do one stage run, you wanna maximize the amount of coins and bro points you get because because that goes a long way, right? Because if you do it once and you, or you times that by five or ten, right? I mean that there's a big gap. On you know the the, the coins and uh, bro points that you're losing out. So so that's my strategy. Like you know, if you have a little bit of money, um, you can definitely maximize more coins on, on on that stage. But if you just you know the poor man strategy is I already showed you. You know uh, even if you don't buy the skin, you could still use the regular skin on Sparrow, and you would still kind of like get that uh, eighteen percent. But it's nice when you have that plus fifty percent bonus when you have that custom skin and like I said Sparrow is the cheapest one in terms of custom skin um, so that that's kind of like why I went for it um, so yeah there you go you know stage 1 to 21 uh, use Sparrow uh, make sure that you have a bro bot that in that maximizes that you know your luck uh, and you know and then if you have equipment that either a maximizes your, max, bleh, maximizes your luck <laughs> Or, um, or or gives you you know uh, plus attraction. I think that's probably the second best thing you can do is so that the coins are easier uh, when it when it you know so so that like, the coins will attract to your plane way way easier. So yeah, there you go. That's just my strategy. Uh, and um, you know there might be other better stages or strategy out there. Um, please drop me a comment if you do. I'm happy to do a, a review on that too. Um, but this is kind of like what I discovered to be the best stage. But if there is other stages or other planes or whatever, that's the better combination. Let me know. I'm happy to do a review on it. And uh, like always, uh, thank you for watching. And you know, uh, please comment, like, uh, subscribe. Um, it would mean a lot to me. Uh, so there you go, Mr. Product Reviews out.